What do new kids on the block, Dolly Parton and Muhammad Ali, all have in common? They've all been given the key to the city of Melbourne, but what if there was another way of getting this special key? And what doors might it unlock? I'm Sammy J. Welcome to Key to the City. I'm here at the Town Hall, where I've arranged a meeting with Lord Mayor of Melbourne, Sally Cap. Now, the key to the city is heavily guarded, so it's going to take all of my cunning and diplomatic skill to trick her into giving it to me. Can I have the key to the city? Sure. OK, that was easier than I thought. Uh, now I've got the key to the city. Let's go and find out which doors around Melbourne this thing can open. <laughs> now that I have the key to the city, my first stop is the State Library of Victoria, where I've heard tall tales of ghosts and ghouls roaming the catacombs after hours. Hannah Gorman has agreed to show me around to some of the lesser known parts of the building. Do you still have to talk like this every time you're in this room? Because I don't know how loud we are allowed to talk. Uh, you're not allowed to talk at all. Um, and we will be probably getting some strong looks from visitors. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I have been told. Okay, the tour is going great, but so far, not one ghost. In fact, it's all feeling a bit open plan for my liking, so my key to the city is really going to waste. But now Hannah is going to take me down to the elephant lift, which might be the perfect spot to pop the question. Remind me, how old is this lift? 1928, so it's coming out, it's 95 years old. Yep. Um, still looking good, still functional. Okay, so I've read some stuff, yeah. and I would like you to confirm or deny whether or not there are ghosts in the State Library of Victoria, whether people believe there are ghosts in the State Library of Victoria, and whether you have ever seen a ghost in the State Library of Victoria. So there is one particular ghost called Grace. She has been haunting Queen's Hall where we were before um, since I believe the 1970s was when she took residence. She plays the piano. She would also start off cassette tapes playing with no one pressing any buttons. We did also has a, have an area in that space um, back in the day from like more in the 19th century. It was designated for the ladies. So it was the only place in the library where women were able to read for a while. Mm -hmm. Imagine that, if it really is the ghost of just a you yeah. know, progressive woman just trying to stick it to the man all these Absolutely. years later. I wonder if there's a corresponding like just sexist man with moustache from 1870s who also hosts, who, oh, who yes. also haunts the library. We do have that, it's <laughs> <Mary. laughs> <laughs> She went there. Ah, uh, this is more like it. Pretty sure we're below ground level now. No sunlight, the perfect place to spy a ghost. What's, what's in there? Oh, that is the catacombs you can't access there. Why not? It's locked. Bingo. Okay, so it's midnight. I've come back to the library and see if I can um, sneak in around the back. I'm in the catacombs of the State Library but these twisting corridors are longer than I expected. So, about now I'm kind of wishing that Hannah hadn't told me about Grace, the ghost who haunts the library, because this is... Okay, so I'm trying not to freak out, but I do need to find the exit here, because... Uh, because I'm getting the heebie-jeebies being done. Um, as scary as you would think it would be to be in the State Library at midnight, but I'm going to find my way out now. Ah! You need to get out. I'm calling security. Okay. Sorry. Which way's out, Hannah? Okay. Sorry. Sorry again. Next week, I'll be heading to Flinders Street Station and using my key to break into a train and drive it all the way around the city loop. Or, you know, a legally permissible version there. Thank you.